And new tonight at 6, harass an amateur school sports official and you could face a misdemeanor charge. News 9's Rashad Williams is live in the newsroom with what you need to know. Rashad. All right, Melissa, for parents and spectators at sporting events, I know games and matches can put you on edge at times, especially when there's a call made by an official that you may not agree with. Now, for those that tend to be a little more vocal than others toward a referee after a bad call, you may want to listen up. For years, harassment of officials at youth and high school level sporting events has been a problem. Something needs to change soon. I think it could jeopardize whether games are going to continue to be played. And WIAA officials are taking how poorly officials are sometimes treated seriously. It's really important that we send the message that confronting and assaulting sport officials is, is not acceptable, it's not okay. Now a newly proposed bill is addressing the issue, hoping to save amateur events in Wisconsin. When it comes to sport officials, um, if we don't have them, we can't do this without them. The bill would make harassment or intimidation of sports officials a class A misdemeanor. I think it will assist us greatly in the retention and recruiting of of officials. Officials say harassment of referees is a key reason why there's an ongoing shortage of them. Following officials out to the parking lot, chasing officials out of the school gym, harassing officials throughout the course of a contest. And Dave says the bill is long overdue, hoping it will make attracting new talent easier. The average age of, uh, of a current licensed official is 58 years old. They're graying rapidly and there's not as many coming along behind them as there once was. So in the future, if you find yourself getting angry at a referee. Relax, take a breath. This is not war and peace. It's not life and death. It's only a game. Currently, 24 states have this legislation in place. And possible penalties for harassing referees include things like 40 hours of community service and counseling at the violator's expense. Live in the newsroom, Rashad Williams, News 9, WAOW. Thank you, Rashad.